it always seemed like you were a perfect kind of middleman. Like you were friends with the Sway Boys living in the Hype House. And, you know, like not everyone gets along, whether it's real or exaggerated or who knows what's going on. Did yeah. that ever get awkward for you, whether it was like Thomas and Bryce or Josh and Chase, whoever it may be? Yeah. So it's actually funny because like I was always like the little like middleman, you know, even with like the little dramas between them and, and stuff like that, you know, we would eventually come come together and all sit down and, and talk. And I would like me being like so close with everyone and like I don't really have beef with anybody. I just like to like help like make people I love love. Like I don't know, it sounds so cheesy, but like I love people getting along. Like, I don't like beefing um and stuff like that. So um but some of it was a little harder, like the Bryce and Thomas stuff. That was that's kinda like still been a struggle to like really get them to like and even when we living there like I couldn't you know it was kind of hard to bring Bryce over and, and hang out with him because he has he's been my best friend since I moved out here so um but you know like I I separated my time and, and took my time out and go to there if I wanted to or you know we would figure out ways to make it happen no, no one ever got like it was never like childish to where like if I went over to Sway House like Thomas and Hype House would be mad at me like even like other members in the Hype House would go hang out with Sway like it was like always very civil they just we were very mature about it. like if, if one of us just didn't like each other, then those two just didn't hang out. We all still like kind of like did everything together. Um, but yeah. Did you ever just look at them and be like, guys, is there an actual issue here? Let's just settle this. Let's be friends. Or is there like, like there, there was, there was multiple of those moments actually. They're like with like even Thomas and Bryce, there was like multiple moments where like they didn't like each other. They would come together. And like, I think they even posted about it. Like they did like a TikTok and like stuff like a YouTube video where like they like kind of squashed everything and then it was cool again. And then, I don't even know what happened to start it again, but they, they, something else happened. And then it was, so this is a lot of back and forth always, especially with the internet, you know, people say stuff on the internet sometimes and then people take it too literal or people this and that and that. And then it just kind of gets all mixed up and yeah. But this is the shit people want, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like that's, that's, that's what like I honestly, I like hate so much about this industry is people love and feed off of that like negative energy i'm like why do you love to see people fighting or negative and like all this stuff it's like why can we not be just like back in the day like i was in like the generation of like mag con it's like whenever i first started in, like that group and it was so like it was always so like positive and fun and it's just like making content with your friends and it's like now it's such like a competition it's like you if you don't have like something to benefit these people or you don't have as much followers as them then you can't hang out with them and i'm like none of that matters like this is all materialistic that doesn't separate you or make you any better than one another and i think just people like because people have in their mind they're like oh what can i get from this person how can i benefit from this person they're never like oh let's just like what about like a friendship what about like family what about like like actual relationships and actual like real stuff that matter in life besides how much money can i make how many followers can i grab from this person and then go on to the next you know